Okay, so uh, time to do the tail. Our little guy is walking and he needs a tail because he's a cat. So let's get his tail in there. So the tail, remember we designed it early on and it was a, uh, here it is. It's, it's, uh, it's basically a line with an art brush, so it's deformable. So we just want this to basically follow the action of the body. And so I'm going to just isolate out the body and the tail so I can kind of work on those two things together. And uh, I'm kind of going to, oh boy, I'm going to follow the same sort of thing. I guess first I'm going to uh, just animate the sort of the swinging action of the tail, and then I'm going to kind of move it to match the twist of the and the up and down of the of the body itself. So let me pose this tail out how I think it should be. I'm going to um, outline the body. So the tail. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Yeah, let's put the tail about there. And we're gonna remember this tail. Uh, there's a couple ways we can work with this. We can either we can use the direct selection or the sub selection. If you use the direct selection, you you can kind of just push and pull and prod it. Uh, the more you do this, uh, you may change the not necessarily the shape of it, but right now I only have two points. And uh, the more I manipulate with the selection tool, I it, it, animate will introduce more and more points to this sometimes, or things like that might happen. You kind of break it, so we gotta watch out for that. Like right now, it's still pretty good. So I want to be super careful about this. Uh, if I want to give it like an S curve, um, I need to go and select my. Uh, It's Shift C. I don't know where it is in here. It's kind of hidden now, isn't it? To go in here to find it. Yeah, this this tool, all of these tools, which I guess are they in here under the pen? I don't even know where they are. Okay. So uh, it's Shift C because it's the same shortcut for uh, um, all of these are the same shortcuts for um, Illustrator. So I, I can give myself a Bezier handle here, and then I can go back to this and. Same thing on this side. Pull this one out. So now I can get my S curve. There and there. And I know that's going to be my beginning and my end. And once again, uh, like the uh, body and everything, it's a, it's two sort of cycles per stride. Tail's gonna bounce twice. So uh, we're just gonna do a simple flap up down. So let's see. We're gonna follow the ear sort of timing. So maybe this will just drop like that. And then let's shape between these guys. I hope it holds up. Press it a little bit. Okay. So here's where, uh, let's see. We duplicate this and just let it play out. How's it going to see how that goes? Let's see how that how does that play out. Let's see the whole thing now. It's pretty good. 
it doesn't twist with the body. We can introduce that, though, but it should be all right. There's a little bit of flashing happening in there, and I hope that's not a... Uh, that's what happens with art brushes sometimes. So uh, maybe I can adjust my keyframe so I don't get that. It's just compressing it a little bit. There. All right, so yeah, I have to tweak it. All right, how's that? Okay, what happens if it swings up this way and then swings down? This way, Let's see what happens there. Let's get this back. Not feeling it. Maybe we'll, we'll leave it at that before we get too crazy with it. Okay, so that's there's my tail. It just needs to feel like it's twisting with him and just basically moving, moving with his body. So here it's, this is where it's gonna be pushed out the furthest and this is where it's gonna be kind of bumped back the most. So we'll just nudge it on two, three, two. And then here we need to nudge it two also. And then if this is nudged in two and this is not nudged at all, this needs to be nudged in one. And I mentioned before, transforms are, uh, are not really the strength of a, a shape twing, but you can, if it's not a big transform, you can kind of do it. So that looks almost good, except that the arm is in front of the tail and kind of blows the illusion. So let's move the arm and the leg behind the tail. Or like do it like that instead. And how's that? Pretty good. 